Hola mi gente, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Alba Mar, me pueden decir Alba. El canal se llama Seriala, estamos aquí para hablar de libros, algunos de ellos en español desde Puerto Rico. Hello, my name is Alba Mar, you may call me Alba. Channel name is Seriala, we're here to talk about books and some of them in Spanish from Puerto Rico. And I am so excited because I have been dashing around the house ever since Karen at Run Right Reads and Pita at uh, Comfy Cozy Up announced the Caribathon. Yeah. And let me just give you a short introduction. Yeah, put the timer on. Uh, why this is so significant to me. Uh, after Hurricane Maria, uh, we didn't have any internet access. So all we could really do for entertainment was uh, to read and one day I saw a James Michener book called Caribbean on my grandson's uh, piano teacher's bookshelves and asked her, right, without shame, <laughs> just asked her whether I could borrow that book and uh, read it, devoured it and immediately wanted to go down a Caribbean r rabbit hole, a Caribbean project, because it just showed me how little I knew about where I live. I live in, a, in the Caribbean, but I don't know my neighbors. That's what happens. So. I started looking around for books about the Caribbean. That was in October of 2017. I have it right down here in my reading log. October uh, 17th, Caribbean, James Michener. Now later on, voila, Red Letter Day discovered BookTube through Heidi. Found Heidi on YouTube. And uh, that even cemented even more my desire to continue with my project. So I did, and I had books from before. Now, what is the criterion for this Caribathon? And I will link uh, the announcement videos down below because the Caribbean nations that Karen mentions from the very beginning are nations. They have sovereignty. So that excludes those territories and regions that are connected still to European countries. Like for example, Guadalupe. I can't read uh, Segu by Marie Esconde because that's from Guadalupe, and Guadalupe is part of France. It's officially a region of France. Same thing with Martinique. I can't read uh, Slave Old Man for Caribathon. I can read it, of course, later on during the year. But Martinique does not qualify. And Puerto Rico does not qualify either. There's no sense me you know, taking it personal or feeling bad because Puerto Rico does not have sovereignty. It is a colony of the United States. So that's why it cannot be considered uh, part of this Caribathon, even though, you know, I read Puerto Rican books all the time. Aruba is another one that is not considered. Uh, Aruba is a constituent country of the Netherlands. And Virgin Islands, neither the American Virgin Islands or the British Virgin Islands are not part of this either. So what did I find on my shelves? Well, I had already, as part of my project from after I read uh, James Michener, oh, oh, and this is not her book. This is not the piano teacher's book. I went on thrift books and found a used copy. And <laughs> now I have my own copy of Mitchell's Caribbean. Yeah. So, as part of that project, 
I had already on my shelves the Black Jacobins, which is by Trinidadian author uh, C.L.R. James about the Haitian Revolution. I read that one already. Uh, I read also last year, I had this book for a long time, Sister Outsider by Audre Lorde. Now, Audre Lorde is of Grenadian extraction. And I really have to recommend highly her last essay, which is uh, Grenada Revisited. Yeah, let's give five more minutes. Excellent, excellent uh, view of her visit, revisit to her country after it was invaded by the United States. Uh, and what else have I read? Oh, oh. This was wonderful. Uh, Olive Senior, Jamaican author, poet, uh, and in this case, this is nonfiction about the construction of the Panama Canal, uh, dying to better themselves about all the West Indians who were, uh, who worked and made the Panama Canal. Yeah. And then uh, I read the Poet X by uh, Dominican author uh, Elizabeth Acevedo. And yeah. So what do I have? Oh, another thing I read. Uh... ID by Roxane Gay. Roxane Gay is of Haitian extraction, and I had read Hunger already. Okay, so that's what I've already done. But now I have options. I have these options. These were already on my shelves. I'm not. I'm not making a TBR. I'm showing you my options. So here they are. I love the way Karen <laughs> says DR. You can tell she lives in New York <laughs> because she calls the Dominican Republic uh, DR, which was, <laughs> is how it's said in New York City. From DR in Spanish, uh, I have from my favorite bookstore here in Ponce, Cuentos Dominicanos, which uh, a collection of short stories by Dominican authors including Juan Bosch, yeah. Uh, Juan Bosch, Ilma Contreras, Armando Almanzar, Rodriguez, René del Risco Bermúdez, Pedro Vergés, Pedro Pace, y Ángela Hernández. This is a strong possibility. And then Julia Álvarez, Dominican author, En el Tiempo de las Mariposas. Uh, Karen has already talked about uh, this book. Uh, I've wanted to read it for a very long time and I have it in Spanish. How the Garcias, another one by Julia Alvarez, How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents has been on my TBR for years. It's yellow already. Uh, one that I found uh, miraculously in a big box store here in Puerto Rico, but in Spanish, Julia Alvarez again, Una boda en Haití. This is really intriguing. Oh, I had all I had read already uh, Edwidge Dante Kant's Farming of Bones, where I learned about uh, the Parsley Massacre. Yeah. I have Dominican family, and they never mentioned that. And then nonfiction. You know, I have to have nonfiction somewhere. Uh, this book, I acquired a while back, The Dominican Racial Imaginary by Milagros Ricourt. Yeah. And then, next door neighbor to the DR, Haiti, I've had this, Paul Farmer's Haiti After the Earthquake, the 2010 Earthquake. Yeah, I wanted to read that one. From Jamaica. <laughs> I have this one. This is a strong contender because it's short. Annie John by Jamaica Kincaid. And Cuba, I have in Spanish, Leonardo Padura, Herejes, Heretics. Uh, 
another copy of the same thing. And from Cuba, nonfiction from a long time ago. I've had this for years. Un año sin domingos, a year without Sundays. This is a bilingual book. You see that? On one page, on one page, it's Spanish, and on the other page, it's English. Yo tuve una experiencia linda. It was a great experience for me. This is about the campaign, uh, the literacy campaign in Cuba. Okay, last, last few minutes. From Trinidad. Uh, B.S. Naipaul's A Bend in the River, B.S. Naipaul's A House for Mr. Biswas, uh, from Dominica, Jean Riss, Wild Sargasso Sea, which I got as soon as I found out. This was Rochester's wife's version of Jane Eyre. Yeah. From Barbados, In the Castle of My Skin, which was in the bibliography of uh, Dying to Better Themselves, a book about uh, Panama Canal. Yeah, George Lamming. I wanted to read that. And Paul Marshall, Brown Girls, Brown Stones. Yeah. So excited. So that's all for now, people. You know that the timer's gone off like two or three times. Uh, hello to the new subscribers. We'll talk uh, maybe tomorrow in another video. What are you going to read for Caribathon? I'll let you know <laughs> before Caribathon is over what I decided to read, okay? Take good care of yourselves out there. Whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, take care. Cuídense mucho, mi gente. Sigan leyendo, los quiero mucho. Adiós.